What's up guys? It's time. A lot of you have asked me for updates about this and it's, it's time to do it. Um, but I have been testing this in other ways and I'll tell you about that now and I'll tell you about which way I prefer and my experience with both. But to the YouTube reviewer that is inevitably going to check out this video, there's no guns in it, only holsters. All right, let's get to it. So what am I talking about? Uh, the Gun Z padding for the back of appendix holsters. Now I did a review of this or, you know, initial install of this, um, several months ago, maybe two, three months ago, something like that. And I've been, you know, wearing it and testing it ever since. And a lot of you have asked, will it stink? Now, unfortunately it was cold here. So I didn't sweat much, so I can't answer that. So I, I don't know, but I also did a video talking about where they actually washed it in a washing machine and uh, it survived it, but they didn't recommend doing that. They recommend cleaning it with like, maybe like soap and water or rubbing alcohol or something like that if yours does start stinking. Um, but I tested mine in the winter and mine does not stink. So this is how I initially put it on. This is my uh, Sig X Macro holster and uh, I put it on the whole thing. This was comfortable. I'll say it is comfortable. It does make it a little thicker, but this does compress quite well. But I've had several people leave on here that it felt a little thick when they put it on like this. And it, and it does feel a little thick, but it is comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. Um, I want to say that. But um, it will make it a little thicker. There again, um, you can see how it will uh, squish down, though. I just wanted to let you all know that. A few people have um, stated that in comments. So I tried something else. I tried kind of doing it like a wedge at the bottom. This is my P365 holster from Tuxton Tactical and uh, one of the most comfortable holsters I've ever owned. And I put it down here at the bottom. And I want to say, I like this better. Not that this is bad. If you want to do it this way and keep you know your whole holster padding, you can do that. But really and truly to me, the bottom of the holster is what actually dug into my pelvis. The, the top I never had an, an issue with. It never was uncomfortable at the top. It was really only um, around the bottom. So for the last, I don't know, three or four weeks, I've been testing it like this. Now you can put it as high as you want or as low as you want or however you want to do it. But a lot of you have also asked about the wedge situation and they sent me some more. They sent me quite a bit more. And I want to say they changed their Velcro. This is a piece I've actually cut up, but they've changed their Velcro. They used to give you like little, let's see if I can pull this off, like little circles, little dots, but now they send you like big, thick pieces of Velcro. Um, that stuff is definitely not going anywhere. And this is what they look like when you get it and you can cut it however you want it, or you can you know mold your whole holster, or you can actually just put it over the whole thing. Just however you want to do it, you can customize it the way you want to. It's easy to cut with scissors, and you can see right here, I actually just cut it along the bottom of this holster to make it um, the wedge. And I really like this. It's comfortable. It actually also pushes against the bottom of your body. It acts kind of like a wedge. It's not, it's not as uncomfortable as I think a wedge is. I don't like a wedge because it's kind of stiff and it really pushes into your pelvis. Um, this actually gives quite a bit. So it works kind of like a wedge, but maybe not as aggressive as a wedge. But it still actually cants that um, grip back into your body. It helps conceal it more. And I'll probably be cutting this one off like this too. I liked it good enough that I'll probably actually be cutting that one off um, because I actually really liked um, how this felt and how this worked. Cause there again, the bottom of the holster is what really dug into me and putting this on, it eliminated all that. There, there was no, you know, hot spot or soreness or anything like that. Um, when I used it like this, kind of like the wedge, um, as you all would call it. And I, I guess that's kind of like what it is, but I really used it more for the padding than the wedge, but it did have the added benefit of the wedge. And yet again, it, it don't have any odor. It's just started getting warm here in the last few weeks. And uh, I've, I've really not sweated a ton. So it, it really doesn't have any odor. Will it ever have odor? I don't know. I can't say it will never have odor. It's in a part of your body that does sweat and has odor. So it's possible. But there again, if it does, 
Clean it with alcohol, soap and water, or something like that. Let it air dry, stick it back on. You're good to go. But I, I kind of wanted to give you all, you know, a few months update of me using this product. Again, if, if, you, if your holster gives a hot spot or gets you sore up higher too, this right here works perfectly fine. I wore it like this for quite a while um, until I got these in. And then, like I said, I just cut these off and, and you can make it prettier. Um, this was just going to be against my body and, you know, I knew nobody was going to really see it. So as long as it was functional, that's what I cared about. And it was great. It was perfectly functional and, uh, it did exactly what I was hoping it would do. Again, go check out Gun Z. I can't link them um, in the description. You can see right here how to spell it, G-U-N-Z-E-E. -E. Just Google it. Um, I can't link them in the description. I can't link um, gun products and stuff like that without having a risk of you know my channel being taken down or getting a strike or something like that. But it's easy enough to Google. You can find this. And uh, they're great people. Um, They've worked well with me. I've never had any issues at all. Actually, one of these got lost in the mail and didn't get delivered to my P.O. box. And they sent another one right out and I got it. And that's whenever I put these on. Wasn't my fault. Wasn't their fault. Um, but they did lose product and they sent it back out to me. Um, great customer service. Like I said, great people. Go check them out. Pick this up if you're having issues with the bottom of your holster. Or if you would just like to have like a wedge like we was talking about to help tuck that in. And it makes it a little more comfortable. Again, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, this does have the thicker um, Velcro on it. You can see the Velcro goes all the way down. It's just, just a little circle. So I did use that on this and this is like crazy, crazy on there. I mean, it's it's not coming off. It's, it's on there good. I did clean this good. Make sure when you put this on, make sure you do clean it good. Um, but this is this is stuck well and it isn't going anywhere. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. It helps the algorithm, helps the channel grow. And uh, if you have any more ideas or anything you'd like to see on the channel, leave them in the comment section as well. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.